Welcome top news today. TV host Piers Morgan has head out at the BBC, saying a cartoon depicting him with his face in US President Donald Trump's bum is homophobic. The MASH Report, a satirical news show, used the image which featured the Good Morning Britain GMB presenter and the US President in a compromising position. Morgan, who also writes a column for Mail Online, tweeted the image several times but for the first time at 6.30pm on Saturday after the program aired on Thursday evening. Accompanying the photo, he wrote, amusing though this image may be to many people, can you imagine the BBC broadcasting it if the president was Hillary Clinton or the interviewer was a woman? Is that how license payer money should be spent? Morgan also accused the BBC of discrimination, saying that he was simply highlighting BBC. Gender equality hypocrisy. He went on to say responding to a question about whether he was upset by the post, Morgan said, I don't give a damn but I'm amazed BBC2 were broadcast an image like that, and judging by the reaction to my tweet about it, so are a lot of other people. Is that how license payer money should be spent? In a later tweet, the controversial host, who has aired a number of questionable views on LGBT issues, wrote asking what would happen if the BBC had tweeted the same image with Hillary Clinton and a female interviewer. He wrote, if Trump tweeted an image like this depicting Hillary Clinton a female interviewer, all those currently celebrating retweeting it would erupt with outraged cries of sexist, misogynist, homophobic, led by the BBC. Liberal hypocrisy in all its unedifying glory. Journalist and feminist writer Jennifer Wright waded into to the controversy, saying she was reluctant to agree with Morgan but that she thought the image was dated and unfortunate. She tweeted, in a post retweeted by Morgan, saying, I hate agreeing with Piers Morgan, and I think he is a revolting toady, but, posting pictures of men engaging in sexual acts with other men to demean them seems dated and unfortunate. There are ways to convey this point without the ha-ha gay overtones at work here. Celebrity blogger Perez Hilton, who is openly gay, tweeted in response to Morgan writing, Solid Pont from Piers. Daily Mail sports writer Adam Crafton also tweeted, defending Morgan and saying, The BBC cartoon of Morgan Trump is, to me, homophobic. Using a perceived gay sex act to undermine straight men is backwards. It proclaims something gay as worthy of embarrassment shaming. Sad to see self-acclaimed liberals cheering it on. But not all took the image seriously. A senior editor at Business Insider, Josh Barrow, tweeted, Piers Morgan tweeting this image three times is the most Piers Morgan thing Piers Morgan has ever done, which was retweeted by Morgan. Comedian Ricky Chavez tweeted, I've seen this picture retweeted thousands of times now with absolutely no credit to the photographer. The controversy came about as Morgan interviewed President Trump for Event Mag. He also tweeted an excerpt saying that Trump had said, Man, I've missed you, the four words from my friend President Trump that sent my already seething rivals critics off the dial. Speaking to Mail Online, a BBC spokesperson commented, The BBC has a rich heritage of satire and the MASH report takes a satirical and surreal look at the week's big stories. This brand of humour is well known to BBC Two audiences who tune in to watch the programme. Prominent transphobe Piers Morgan late last year lashed out at Britain after President Donald Trump backed out of visiting the country. The Good Morning Britain host, who spent 2017 attacking non-binary people, genderfluid people and J.K. Rowling, used his considerable social media platform to defend the incredibly anti-LGBT Trump. YouTube Good Morning Britain Trump, who, it was revealed this week, has allegedly invited porn stars for a bisexual threesome, cancelled his visit to London on Thursday. The president said his decision was down to the US Embassy moving from North to South London, which he called a bad deal. Read this The celebrities that you didn't realize are gay.